for each one for each person here. Yeah. A, a constable for every a constable for every demonstrator. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad they didn't bring any for the vid the videographers. Oh. Should have brought blue boobs. Would have got a better reception. These officers are now going to go and try and break into this lady's house because this lady has um, locked herself out. And she's going to make the tea all day. So. And here we are, the uh, afternoon session. Really giving uh, Constable 358 hard time. He's in charge, dude up there, bud. Well, he's not, we are really. But as you can see, it's a lovely day. We are still in control because now what we're doing is the police say you can't stay static in the road. So now, whenever a lorry comes across, someone who is sat here gets very thirsty and walks slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, 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 all the way over to here, get themselves a drink, huh? and then walks all the way back. No. Nah. Okay. Um, I know what he asked going to be. What's that? I'm asking you to take that sign. It's not my. It's not my game, baby. It's it's. it's Yeah. I'm just a, I'm just a photographer and agitator. Yeah, I'm an agent provocateur. And I'm just an activist. Yeah. Whose sign is it? Our sign. Our sign. Yeah. Our West End. Who's our West End? No. Who's I mean, they all are really. Um, yeah. It's awkward that, isn't it? This is gonna be up to the punch. I was going to ask a question about obstruction, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm confused because your sergeant, the sergeant didn't answer it when I asked him directly, when he says you're, you're causing an obstruction. And I said, well, what constitutes an obstruction? Well, now there's a bit of a chuck of a lot. And this is what, I mean, look. People have to live here. They have to live here. Jesus. What constitutes not being an obstruction? Like, if I wanted to cross the road, I was under the impression that on the highway, suit the Highways Act, pedestrians have the right of way when they're travelling from A to B across a road. That, you know, it's not like a motorway. We're not allowed on motorways. But surely, if you're crossing a road, like the lorries aren't allowed to just squish you or, or you haven't got to wait for all the lorries to go by it, if you were to try and cross a highway to get from say to here from this path to that path um, as long as you're not static you're not an obstruction are you you're actually traveling from a to b so as long as you're traveling you are not an obstruction. Am I right in thinking that, that constable? Yeah, but you're really trying to bend it, aren't you? Yeah, just a little. Well, <laughs> come on. But I'm saying, you know, because obviously, that, I mean, uh, when you've got an 86 year old woman trying to cross the road, that could take at least 45 minutes. An hour. An hour. Yeah. Especially with the, the frame. <laughs> right. It's true. If you take my mum for Yeah, so, so we, were just, we were just making sure. No, no, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> We were just we were just making sure that it, that, that it's not actually illegal to cross the road um, as long as you're not obstructing traffic. Oh, I mean, let's have a look. See, let's see some hip hop street. Oh, I didn't. Well, you should have let me know a bit earlier. You know, eyes in the back of my head. Right. But yeah, now there you have it. Technically, if we are crossing the road and we're not static, I'm pretty sure that we aren't in any breach of any bylaws and in fact that the lorries do have to stop for us otherwise they would squash us and that we don't have that in Britain at the moment. That's awesome.
Our property, our property on their property, they can't touch our property. They got to take us to court. Um, it's driving them nuts. Well, they can, can't they? Nah. Why not? Nah, it's like it's like tying something to the outside of a fence. You know, you can't, uh, you can't, you can't remove it. It's on the it's, it's out here, isn't it? Their properties. Well, it depends inside. where the boundary is. It's, is it? He's telling me the boundary is this yellow line. Yeah, I, well, I, I know that when you put your property on someone's property, it always it's a civil matter. So um, it, it becomes immediately the jurisdiction of the courts, the uh, civil courts, and so that for them to touch your property, it's like wheel clamps. You could look at the same principle with wheel clamping. Uh, it's driven them nuts all day. Otherwise, you know, if they, if they, they. How know long has that been up there? Since this morning, seven o'clock. Yeah. See, the thing is, they haven't. Um, they, they know that they can't touch it. They've already come over and said, "Look, can you take it off?" Uh, uh, you know. So. What are we doing with that? Um. And there you go, that's the dilemma caused by one sign. One person put that sign up and knew it would cause maximum damage. Give you a little um, update. We're here by um, Glenys's car, and this has been parked here since seven o'clock this morning. You can see this. Look at this. I'll give you a little wipe there. Yeah, but it's like splashes of concrete all over the cars. Now imagine what that's doing to the inside of people's houses but more importantly to their lungs. They're breathing this stuff in. You know, and this is nasty stuff. You know, this is cement dust and brick dust.
got to love a bit of direct action. Oh, he's on the path, look at that. Right. Imagine what that's doing to the inside of people's houses, but more importantly to their lungs. They're breathing this stuff in. You've cleaned the windows, but yeah. we're not talking about the windows. I'm talking about on the balcony. I only have, I've, I've got a question. I want, can, is there a chance I can get my lungs cleaned? Like, can I get my lungs cleaned? Is there a chance of it?
it's uh, just gone six and this is the uh, sound that you can hear somebody on a phone on the balcony no banging so that's almost from eight o'clock till six o'clock ten straight hours and today they were very quiet there was hardly any banging um, and I mean loud clanking but that's we think because people are actually moving into these places even though they're not finished it's incredible anyway that's it from uh, two away hope you enjoyed today peace out <laughs>